Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some rat holes you probably didn't know about. Uh, so, starting off, we're going to have a uh, rat hole that you kind of had to crouch to get into. Here, here's the map. Here's the cords. You're in this, like, Boros biome. Bi uh, Boros sector. Uh, and I guess to find it, you kind of just have to look for these two things. That are sticking out in this giant thing it's like right underneath it so you come up under here here's the rat hole and you, you can get inside you have to step on here with your tech boots you're gonna need uh, your your tech boots to get up here in your backpack and you just have to crouch to get inside so I guess this is like a crouch uh, crouch spot it's uh, easy to defend. You just have to build a wall far back enough. You have this lower sec uh, section here. It's pretty flat. Uh, it's just in an angle, but like it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It's pretty flat by itself. I try to fit a replicator in here, but it's just slightly too small. As you can as you can see, it's just slightly too small. I don't know if you guys can. You could build here in official, by the way. I have official settings on. It's, um, yeah, you can fit, you can almost fit a replicator if you can. Just, uh, let me know in the comments. But, uh, for me, it's a, it's a pretty solid spot. I gotta say, like, a, probably a, like seven out of ten the only problem with it is just it's not tall enough to re uh, fit a replicator other than that it's a pretty pretty op spot easy to defend the only entrance is this all right let's head to base location number two here we are at base location number two it's like right next to the uh first base location so you could probably take this over if you feel like it's not you don't have enough room and here we are at the other base location this one uh you can just fly straight straight up you don't have to crouch so it's a it's a little harder to defend you don't have as much room so you could probably use this as like a breeding section i guess here let me see if i could fit a wrap in here uh, nope it's still too small but you could build here an official as well Can't, you can't get through here. Maybe you can. Here, let me see. Nope. Here, let's... Goes through. If you are able to get back here, you, you have a lot of room. And you probably can fit. Oh, never. I... You might not be able to fit up wrap. Too narrow. Yeah, too narrow, too narrow. But you do have this other section if you do get past that. It seems like it's possible. Pe uh, probably a Pelagornis. Uh, but this base location is uh, it's pretty easy to defend as well. You just have to defend this uh, small area. Right here. Yeah, it's a little harder than the other one since you uh, you don't have to crouch, but you, it's still pretty flat. It's still pretty big. Uh, you, uh, an official you could probably take over both sides, so you can have a, a one for breeding and one for uh, I guess you're crafting. All right, well, let's head to base location number three. So here we are at base location number three. Here's the cords. There you go. And it's not really like a rat hole. It's more like a base location. Uh, it, you have this area that's pretty flat, right? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit hard to defend. But if you just spam, uh, spam it off with turrets, you should be fine. Uh, people can tame snipe you, so maybe build like a wall. And then you can have like a breeding section here. You can breed most dinosaurs except for like the pretty big ones. Pretty sure you can fit a stego in here. Uh, so you have that. It is divided, and it's a uh, it's a pretty a pretty solid one. I gotta say, if it, it, 
if we don't, if there isn't much ba uh, base spots to go for, I'd say go for this one. Since uh, it's, it's probably not going to be contested, but still solid, at least to start off with. Alright, let's head. Here's the map. Here's the courts. Let's head to base location number four. Alright, guys, here we are at base location number four. Here, here are the courts. And here's the map. It's towards the end of the like the borrowers biome next to this waterfall here let's, let's fly it's like right next to it but uh you can't see it it's pretty it's, it's pretty hidden you do have to crouch but after you crouch you have this area up here and then it's pretty flat you can't fit mo uh, you can build here an official as well you can't uh I guess you don't have the most room, so probably go for like a solo duo. You can you can fit uh, I guess multiple layers if you sink in, maybe two layers if you sink in your foundations. Put like a, your generator back there, and then just have like a couple turrets guarding here. And since you had to crouch, it's gonna be hard. All uh, the only way they can uh, rage you is by shield soaking, and if they don't have a shield BP, it's gonna be pretty hard. It's a solid base location. I, I'd say I take it. It's pretty good. But that's base location number four. Let's head to number five. Here we are, base location number five. Let's fly here. It's pretty close to the other one as well. Uh, here's the waterfall. And if you just go over here, it's kind of open. You won't really see the rat hole in the very beginning. So, this rat hole is actually pretty busted. It's good for like a solo duo tribe. Uh, you have this flat area that you can probably put like a small turret tower, tower, a turret wall. And then uh, it defends people from getting up here. And you can put some turrets back there as well. But to get this uh, to there, you have to climb up that area over there. Right there. And then climb up here with your tech boots and then I guess come over here and then uh, you kind of have to crouch all the way which makes this base spot even better since uh, you have to crouch and this is why I like this base spot too that I mean it's pretty small good for like a solo duo tribe right have a couple turrets you can't really place oh you you can't really place turrets over here. You had to like put them back here. Maybe put them in a foundation and make them face that way. But uh, uh, it's gonna be really hard to raid this spot. Uh, this spot again, no no tames could soak uh, can be put over here. So you do have to shield soak it if you want to raid it. And then. Uh, Another thing is the only way to get back up here is if you use fence foundations. And if uh, the raider blows these fence foundations up, then uh, they're stuck. They can't get up here. Uh, they can't crouch. Uh, and then they can't really do much. They're, they're stuck here and then you, you kind of win since if they're stuck and they don't have the materials or points to get out. Then, uh, and if they don't have the C4 to get out, they're gonna have to kill themselves, or just be stuck here uh, for uh, <laughs> until you come back. So this is a pretty, pretty solid, pretty, pretty overpowered base bot since you do have to crouch for a long time. There's also these. There's two entrances, one over here, or that that one back there that I showed you to get up here, and then there's one over here, but there's a. Uh, you can't really raid from over here. You're gonna get headshot by all the turrets. Uh, so maybe you can throw some grenades over here. But if really, if you just put like a turret back here, you should be fine. And then they can't really get up here. They had to go from the other side. So that's uh that's it for today. If you guys uh like these base locations. Yeah, videos make sure to leave a like uh, comment what you think and uh, if there's any other base locations that you think I should know uh, any other rat holes that you think I should know of uh, just let me uh, know in the comments 
down below. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.